Welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Star Force Dragon Right now, you have to get the ball using this. Hit these with touch screen and hit the ball with the helicopter. You get 10 HP memory. Jeez, about she just wants to go home. So. Oh my god, it's him! It's Mr. Boreal, or how you spell it, I don't know. I mean, not spell it, but... Yeah. Hey. It's that guy. Bonus ring with all your self wants. Yeah. Well, you get invited to his lab, so that's all you really need to know. Tom Dubious. Haha, <laughs> NASA. <laughs> that's a cheesy name. For a space program, if you know what I mean. Just a little rip off of NASA. Zach listens into their conversation. Conversation. Like the little sneaky person he is. Why do I keep doing that? I don't want Propeller Man anymore. Is this shop open? No. Well, let's get back home. Let's get some rest. Yeah, let's go. <coughs> That night. She was funny in this one. The flat pack. Yeah, in the show, that guy creates something else called a Star Carrier. In the show, that's what he creates for Geo because his transor breaks in the shell. And he has to carry an Omega System something. He uses an something else to carry him in, but it's not really that effective. Well, it's not really like a transer, it's like not useful really useful like a transer, you can't look at your email or anything 
And that's in the show. I'm not talking about the game. It doesn't break in the game. You just... In number two, you get a star... What do I call it? Yeah, star carrier. In the second game, and replace for Transer. And I might do a Let's Play on Mega Man Star Force 2. Because that game is so much better. Instead of walking on EM waves, just EM wave. Wave roads, you can walk on the ground. Instead of just the roads. And I didn't beat that one yet, so yeah. I only beat one and three. The second one's like the hardest. Because there's more puzzles and I'm not a puzzle solver person. And uh, I'm probably going to have to restart the whole thing because I deleted the old no GBA emulator. Which had all the save files for that. That sucks like crazy, because I didn't really need to, because I found out it was my OpenGL thing. So yeah, you get this guy. Get his name, what's his name, what's his name? This guy's kind of annoying. Not that annoying. Second level's pretty easy. And it tells a story about how someone betrayed him, and that's why I don't trust anybody. Someone betrayed him, took his invention, made it their own. Stuff like that. Skip it. Because I don't really care. And I'm sure you guys don't really either. Because why would you want to hear a story about that dude? That's not what the game's about. It's about Geo. Not about that stupid dude. Well, not about Geo. Mega Man. It's what it's about. Not anybody else but Mega Man. So yeah. Too much text. Why can't they make him voice? DS had voice options. Because there's one Mega Man that, on the DS that does do voice and text. It's called Mega Man uh, ZX Advent. It's a pretty good game. I beat it. It's hard. The last boss is hard as heck, though. So the guys at the beach. Yeah. Wake it. The bus is here. So this is the bus. Alright, I've got it. Let's go. I sometimes wonder. Or I wonder sometimes. You do. Don't you skip. I think I should see that for a real guy. Hey, you came. Uh, this is my research lab. Blah, blah, blah. No one cares. Uh, just to tell you what happened. Luna, Bud, and Prez. Or, no, Luna, Bud, and Zack. Prez is Luna. What the heck am I thinking? But they came and followed you here and are taking a tour with you, so tell you that, all that stuff, they follow Geo here, so yeah, that's, uh, Mr. Burrell wants to talk to you about the satellite, which tells he built it to find Geo's father who's lost in space, and that's about it for 
this is it for the video, so I guess I'll see you guys next time, next episode of Mega Man Star Force Dragon. Let's do this. See you guys later.